It has happened twice in just a matter of days. Two college students found frozen to death, one in Iowa, one in Vermont. Despite freezing temperatures hitting much of the country, we have found plenty of students out in the cold, simply not dressed properly. And as Lisa Guerrero reports, it should be obvious to anyone that's dangerous. It's freezing out! It's five degrees out, but you'd never know it by how these college students are dressed for a night out on the town. What are you doing outside without a coat? Um, I don't wear a coat in the bar, so why would I wear one to the bar, right? Because it's five degrees <laughs> outside of the bar. It's warm out. I want to be warm and it'll be warm. Be warm and it'll be warm. Okay. If your parents saw you right now on TV, what would they say? I see a young lady, you're grounded. <laughs> Long walks between class are the worst and the bus is always so full. Just fun to love. The wind is the worst. I'm literally walking one block <laughs> and I'm wearing all this for that. During the day, the students at the University of Wisconsin at Madison were bundled up as they went to class. I can barely feel my face or my hands. My dad was like, I don't want you to die as soon as it gets into the negatives. So. <laughs> I've been struggling to stay warm, to be honest, though. It's really hard. I have uh, three layers on and a sweater and then my puffy coat, and then I made sure I wore my warmest gloves. I have a sweater under, but I think I should be wearing more. I do see people, you know, depending on when they're going out, like maybe wearing tights or a dress or something, but I don't know. I think people value being warm over how they look <laughs> when it's this cold. Oh, I've never felt better! But as the night fell, usually I can like muscle it through. The coats came off. I was putting it on on my way out, but honestly, it's not too bad outside. And often it was a mad dash to get inside. So let's all go take a shot. It's going down to 10 degrees below zero tonight. And if you're not dressed properly, you could get hypothermia within minutes. These students behind me have been waiting in line for a half an hour already. Do you know how cold it is outside right now? Negative 11. This poor girl. Look at her legs. <laughs> Look at this, honestly. <laughs> because I didn't want to bring an actual coat because someone was stealing. And we also heard this. I can't put a coat on in the name of fashion. Many students don't realize how quickly the fun can turn tragic. She grew into such a beautiful girl, huh? Yeah. That's her senior picture. Roxanne Whedon's daughter, Neela Fry, was a popular college student. All the kids just adored her. This was Christmas, and she passed in February. Yep. Surveillance video showed the 23-year-old had been drinking in a college bar in Wisconsin and then left with a friend in the frigid weather. She did have a jacket. It wasn't a real heavy coat. How cold was it that night? It was 8 degrees. 8 degrees? Mm -hmm. In eight degree weather, you can get cold extremely fast. Once you start getting the hypothermia or you start drinking, you're not thinking the way you would normally if you were sober. Police interviewed a witness who saw Neela outside. She was mumbling like incoherently and she kept saying stuff like, oh, my phone and my keys and I want to get in. And I asked him if we needed help and he guys look cold, do you want a sweatshirt? After refusing help, surveillance video shows her apparently confused as she wandered outside the bar. When Neela didn't show up at work the next day, her mom rushed to the college town to search for her. By the time we got up there, I mean, there had already been helicopters and dogs, search dogs and stuff like that, and um, they still have not found her. Then police told her to stop looking. We just knew they found her, you know. <laughs> was found frozen to the ground. She died of hypothermia. Pain doesn't go away at all. You just learn to live with it. AMA Marketing. She was just hilarious. I mean, everybody laughed when she was around. If someone was sad, they couldn't be sad very much longer if she was with them because she was always cheering people up because they all loved her, you know, and she loved them. She was supposed to be in a wedding. Mila was going to be the maid of honor. Well, when they did get married, they kept her as their maid of honor, and they had a tree stump with her picture on it, and that was up, up there where she would be standing.
Would you describe Mila as a responsible woman? Oh yes, she was very responsible. And one of the last things I said to her, we, we met for lunch, it was the last time I saw her, and I told her how much, um, how I don't worry about her very much anymore. And I think it kind of hurt her feelings because she gave me a look, but um, I said it's because she was so responsible. What advice would you give to a parent who has a child in college? You know, the, I talk to my kids about what to do if a bear attacks you, what to do if for a tornado, a fire. I mean, you know, if someone breaks into your home. I mean, we talk about everything, but I don't think that we really, you know, got into hypothermia. And I just, I just wish I would have, you know, I mean, I can't now, it's too late. If you could give advice to these young students right now, what would you say? Dress for the weather, wear layers. It's just so important. Even if you think it's gonna ruin your outfit or you don't wanna carry it around in the bar with you, is that worth losing your life over? Experts confirm that confused thinking is a sign of hypothermia, so it is important for friends to look out for one another.